Welcome to the channel. My name's Rob and I am in Vrasrov for four days and the hunt for dwarfs starts now. I am clearly not gonna find all of them, but I will share with you the ones I do find and I'll try and work out what their jobs are because they all have their own special jobs and occupations. This is gonna be really, really fun. And straight away, we found our first dwarf. Here we go, uh, at the water pump. It does look a little bit dodgy, these big balls. I won't squeeze them too hard, he might feel a bit of pain. I reckon we're gonna see a lot more of these through the next few days for sure. Some of the dwarfs, the occupations are quite obvious. This one, he's just got himself a pole axe, uh, so I'm not sure what he is. Maybe he's a peasant, maybe he's a soldier protecting his city from invaders, who knows? This is my favorite so far. It's just a dwarf riding a lion. How cool is this one? This one looks like an Asian dwarf flying a kite. There's a dwarf down there. This little dwarf is keeping all the money safe. He's outside the bank and he's depositing some money. I absolutely love these dwarfs. They seem to be placed after these big boulders were down. Really, really a part of the scenery now. What does this one do? What's his job? What do you think? What's his job? Not sure? Well, everyone watching will have to say what his job is. Well, I think this is part of the collection, but it's not quite to the same standard as all the other dwarfs, is it? Now, this is a special one because it says, votes for women. It may be political, but I think it is pretty cool at the same time. And right next to the bakery, we have this little guy. The dwarfs started turning up in the mid 1980s and they were actually put there by a group called the Orange Alternative who basically protested against the authoritarianism that was taking place. But I think now the message has changed, the, the message is bringing joy and, and fun to people. But I now wonder, because they get put outside businesses and different types of buildings that they represent, I wonder if different businesses are now wishing that a gnome dwarf would be placed outside their building. It's something to be proud of, I think, actually. It is a little bit later on in the evening, but we have come to some more dwarfs, or gnomes. Uh, these are cutting a baton, really, really pushing it to the authority figures in the country. And the last gnomes for the night outside the opera house. There we go. Have a good evening, everyone. We just casually got Dominic and Anka hanging out outside the shopping centre. Here we've got the Radio Dwarf celebrating Polish radio. We're walking alongside the river now and here is another dwarf, or no, uh, the Navigator. But apparently these rivers aren't used as much as they probably should be. Unfortunately, we probably can't see it, but down over there, there is a dwarf cleaning his shorts in the river. That is a brilliant one. This is the famous Tumski Bridge, the Bridge of Love. Now this is where people would put the padlocks and engrave the initials and the heart, um, but it is now forbidden because so much weight has meant that the bridge will sink, so they get cut off and it's forbidden now. However, there is a dwarf for this. Hang on, let's find the dwarf. And I think that really does represent a dwarf with the lock behind him. And this one really represents what happens to all the padlocks. They get cut off. Yeah. 
outside Centenary Hall, we have this little fella. Uh, on the book, it says Marek Krajewski Mock. Uh, I don't know who he is, I don't know what he's doing here, but outside Centenary Hall. I'm pretty sure this little guy is recycling, and he's doing quite a good job. And the final dwarf or gnome that we are visiting is Rizesh Yadvizanski. Close enough, close enough. Uh, the final gnome, thank you so much for joining on this little adventure. I didn't have a map, it was simply wandering around and seeing which gnomes I find. And I would like to think I found a lot. Now this is nowhere near Vratswaf at the moment, are we? We're still technically in, but no one normally would see this. None of these tourists. Uh, thank you so much. Like and subscribe and join us on the next one.